open. It's back. It's the apprentice. <laughs> Lord Sugar, kiss my eagle pickle and smack my tombly boo. <laughs> one day, sometime soon, one of you is going to get fired. You're fired. You're fired. But I like you. You're like me. You're hired. <laughs> and it's the usual shy and retiring bunch of contestants. First, there's Shibby. Success and money motivate me. My first word wasn't mummy, it was money. Well, it, it probably was mummy, because <laughs> they do sound similar, don't they? Uh, probably what happened was you said mummy, but maybe someone misheard it. Mm. <laughs> Although my first word was sorbet. <laughs> so, that's shitty. Who else? People aspire to have a, a flash sports car, maybe a house in the country. I've got all that already. Where's my glass ceiling? I don't have one. This is glass! Stupid! Then there was the boys team leader, Dan, who really had the hearts for Lord Sugar. He appeared to even blow him a kiss. I've read all your CVs. On paper, you all look very good. <laughs> then again. Tea, tea, Then he put his hand around my waist. <laughs> so, what was the task Lord Sugar set? I'm sending you off to Smithfield, London's historic meat market. And that's because the point of this task is to manufacture and sell sausages. Sausages! <laughs> What's the time? It's sausage o'clock! <laughs> no, no, no. no, Albert! You'll spoil your dinner! So the two teams, Synergy and Apollo, set to making their bangers, but it took them a while to get the hang of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Have another go. <laughs> Lads, show them how it's done. What went wrong? Mate, it's not going on. <laughs> Guys, it's just too hard. <laughs> 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 Which brings us to this week's Apprentice in a Nutshell. This week's Apprentice in a Nutshell. Being an entrepreneur, being the oldest member of the boys' team, I think it was only right that I step up and take a leadership role in this task. And I think I did a good job. I led a task to profit. But I'm the one in the firing line, I'm big enough to deal with that, I'm big enough to be the next apprentice, and I'm going to come out of the boardroom fighting. Dan, you're fired. <laughs> this week's apprentice in the <laughs>